Hey everybody, this is Jagerbomb, and welcome to Top Plays and Tactical Tuesdays. So it's either going to be either one, but it just depends. So here's what I'm planning and proposing on doing. So on Tuesday, I would like to have a little top series, like a top plays series. It can be anything from a uh, first-person shooter or a racing game or any game in particular. It doesn't even matter. But here's a little short clip of me going on like a quick little five kill streak with the Witch Doctor. So this is the kind of thing I'm looking for. So if you have a submission that you would like to put in, just shoot me a personal message with a link to a private unlisted video, uh, one that's not published yet, so I'll put it up on there. And now let's get to the tactical portion. So each week it's not going to be both top plays and tactical, or a tactical, like, it's not going to be both of them. What it's going to be is if I get enough plays for top plays, then we'll have a top plays. If we don't, then I will do some kind of tactician gameplay or a, a tips and tricks type of thing. So in this gameplay, this is on Starhawk. This is a, a death match, and we are just dog fighting. And let's talk about some of the tactical advantages, tactical uh, decisions that you can make while dog fighting, or some tips on dog fighting and how to better improve. So I'm not the best at this right away. I'll just come off and say that, but I am learning. And that's tip number one. When you're not too good at something, practice it. So I created this lobby for my own purpose. I wanted to learn how to become a better hawk flyer. So in, in that matter, I created a server just for me to fly hawks against people. And when you're first starting out, it's better to keep the lobby small. So I have this, I believe, set as a 10-man or 12-man lobby. Um, you can go all the way up to 32. But as a new person, a new player, it's very difficult to actually hold your own in a lobby where there's 32 people because there's always some like top three people that are just going to absolutely destroy you so tip number one uh pick lobbies that are smaller and more adapted second tip know your weapons so you notice i kept going after the flak the flak cannon the flak cannon is an amazing hawk weapon um it is probably the best weapon in the game as i get a kill right there with it it takes up to it takes like two shots at a relatively close distance to kill someone while dogfighting. So know your weapons, and in that same matter, make sure you pick up weapons. Uh, don't just fly around with just your your machine gun. Even though the machine gun is very useful, and you'll see later on where I I lead with the machine gun and finish up with the actual missiles. But make sure you go around and select all, get all the weapons that you possibly can, and know where those weapons spawn at. That only takes time and practice to figure out where those are. But uh, let me talk about the order of importance for the types of weapons that you're going against. So in a dogfighting match, order of importance number one is flat cannon. That's probably the best weapon in the game. Order of importance number two is either the shield or the invisibility, depending on how you like to play. The shield's nice because it doesn't have a time limit, it just has a damage limit. So you can hold that for the longest time. And there's, there's no, there's no limit to how long you can have it. The invisibility is nice because it not only makes you invisible to people, but if you're not playing a dogfight deathmatch, it makes you invisible to turrets as well. So if someone has a beam turret in the base, um, you can just walk right in there, invisible, and just kill it before it even realizes what's going on. So yeah. Okay. So now let's talk about control settings. As another, just got another kill at the flak turret. So while flying a hawk it's best to use the advanced flight mode. At first, you're going to be like, oh my god, this is crazy. And half the times, you're going to be flying around upside down and not know what the fuck's going on. And trust me, I was the same way. But after a while, you realize that who cares what's upside down? Who cares what's right side up? As long as you got the guy in target in front of you, don't worry about adjusting your sight. But learn how to fly in the advanced settings. Another good reason for this is that while you're in the advanced setting, when you get someone that locks on with missiles onto you, you can actually turn out of them instead of like hitting the R3 button to shake your, your flares out. You can, you can turn on a hairpin turn and it'll often avoid them. So here I got eight missiles flying at me. I barely took any damage. I didn't really turn it that much, but trust me, it does work. If you do hairpin turns with the brake, that's another point of, of interest here. So the brake is very useful. Don't forget about your L your L2 button, so they can help you make hairpin turns if someone's like behind you right here. I just braked, turned on him, and right there he is. So now I'm into the action. 
And I guess the last and final point that I'm gonna I'm gonna put out here, and last tip, is that the your skill selection. So while you're flying the Hawks, you often take a lot of random damage, a lot of side damage, and it's always best to use field mechanic. So field mechanic is the skill set that allows you to heal over time if you're not taking damage. So what this does, it allows you to essentially just to start fresh and get back into the action with full amount of health. You don't have to worry about um, taking a little bit of damage and having the flames coming out of you. So yep, that's it. This game's winding up, wrapping up. I go four and two. I take second place. Not too bad. Um, so please submit the top plays to Jaegerbomb uh, as a private message with the links to your video. And if you have any other suggestions, I'm um, welcome. This has been Jaegerbomb. I'm out. Peace.